with this picture. Oh, yeah. Whoa, come to kind of somebody. Do you know? Right. Yeah. I mean, were, the priest was reading their fucking lyrics, and, and the senators were cracking up. Everybody was cracking up. <laughs> it was a uh, priest there. Was, Listen to these lyrics. The band, the Mentors, and me and Frank going there. Who? The Mentors? It was like an indie, their own record. And it was like, uh, I want to sniff your anal vapor. I use your face for toilet paper. And everyone's like, <laughs> Status Rockefeller's dying over. And people were dying. It was, it was obviously. I can tell you some stories of that guy, El Duce. Yeah, you can see. They wore sacks over their heads <laughs> on stage, right? Yeah, 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 yeah there, there, were, there were black executioners, you know, and. Uh, yeah, the dude is just a, 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 a pathetic, drug-infested, alcoholic clown. You know, he, he's lovable. He's really, he's really funny. If you're really not kicks on this, we are Widow Major! Song, and, and we, wrote, we, have a, we wrote 14 picks, 12 on the album, and although none of you have heard it except maybe like the live show. You guys come to Chamber Slater to go to Europe in mid-January. Mid-January. Which will be his first time back in Europe since. Uh, I haven't been in eight years, you know, and so, and what's interesting about Europe for me is that Twisted burnt out in the United States, but in Europe, we were continuing to build, and we just sort of, boom, disappeared. It was like, for like three, four years, you know, D and Twisted was everywhere, and all of a sudden, we just disappeared. And I went into my own personal, like, you know, seclusion, moved to Florida. Oh, that's the yeah, I, <laughs> I, uh, I said, I gotta get out of here. I went to Florida. Boy, was I lost. You became the mall and Great the lifestyle, but you're like, God, man, just like disconnected from like the industry. I said, it's a great lifestyle. You know it, but man, it's like far from New York and LA. I mean, I moved back to New York because I hate LA. And, and uh, I had to get closer to what's going on to, you know, to hook in. Every time we wanted to rehearse or like, do something, we should find it. Beyond that, it's just everything is, you know, much more focused. It's usually tell how anxious they are about how much money they're offering and they're very anxious. <laughs> uh, so, but I am too. I mean, I, I have really a lot of affection for Europe, especially England. It was twisted broke out of there. The United States, although the fans were there for us, we could not get a record deal. We went to England, got a deal there first. And when we came to the States, many people thought we were an English band. And I go, yeah, how you doing? You know, like, wait, wait where's the English accent? You know, so, uh, so Europe's cool. So those are historic plans, you know, probably worldwide over the course of the next two years. I saw you guys a long, long time ago up in uh, New York at a place called Detroit. So remember playing that was play the place? Oh, well, interestingly, of course. I mean, how I forget? I still have the smell of my hair. <laughs> uh, actually, interestingly enough, there's a uh, CMC is putting out a double twisted, uh, double live CD. It's got the Ham Hammersmith Odeon show from 10 years ago. We never did a live record. And, and, um, on there, and they put two additional tracks from Detroit. <laughs> no way. Yeah, <laughs> us doing, us doing, train kept a rolling, and some other cover song. It's really cool, live from Detroit. So That's two tracks, and you gotta check it out. You yeah. from that area? Yeah. What about? From Rockham. Matter of fact, grab CMC's got copies. If you grab it, you'll have it now, and it's got right on there. And you'll flip. Beat the Christmas rush. Uh, so back to the things at hand. <laughs>
feelings about him because he's very, uh, uh, my strongest feelings about environmental issues and he's a very, he's very strong on environmental issues as well. I really appreciate his stance on those things. I wish he took as much, uh, he cared as much about preserving the First Amendment as he does about preserving our lakes and rivers, you know. Or getting haircuts at LAX. Man, that guy's, this guy's hard looking. And he had to do a good bit of side stuff around that issue. He was on the MTV uh, when Bill and President Clinton and then uh, was Gore. On MTV when they were running, and um, you know that was one of the first things that they asked, and he had a really sidestep around him and Tim was all the with that. <laughs> Too big. 